All right, guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak, and here we have the new Razor line of broadheads, which you can see right here. There it is. Try and catch perfect focus on it. There it is right there. And this is that new broadhead company that I was telling you about. This is a Michigan-based company. These are some of their things here. We're going to show you and dive in some close-ups and some details and explain this. But what you're getting here is you're looking at basically a one and three eighths wide. So almost one and a half. Okay. Uh, almost one and a half inch wide broadhead razor sharp. And we are getting it in three different sizes. Okay. So we have a right here we have the 250 grain, 250 grain. And you have a 200 grain, which is oh, actually the same size. How did they pull that off? I will explain it to you in a second. But basically, that's what we have here. We got basically a 200 grain and a 250 grain, and they are identical size and identical 0.62 thickness. So there's no difference here. The difference is actually in the ferrule right here. Because we have two different ferrules. I'm trying to do this. Like I said, I got the camera on the other side. Okay, this one on this side is stainless steel. This one here that they use for the 200 grain is titanium. So this one in this head, which is razor sharp, I have to be careful. But that titanium is what's on here. It's a titanium ferrule making it, you know, giving us a 50 grain difference. And this one is a stainless steel one, which is what's on that 250 grain head. That is how we end up getting two identical sized heads right here and have a 250 grain and a 200 grain and have them both be identical everything else. Now these are, uh, um, here what we're looking at, we got a left bevel right here on the 250. And we have the right bevel right here on the 200. Now the rights are available right now, and the left bevels are going to be coming at a later date. There's different tooling in these, uh, so the left bevels they made me uh, for me um, kind of exclusively here right now, but they will be coming. But they are not available yet in a left bevel. It is coming. Here is to also show you. Right here, you can see there's your sizes. See a 150, 200, and 250. I'll show you the 150 in a minute. Okay, and your weight ratings on here, your right and your left bevel. Okay, these are my left bevels that are for me. And now your 150 grain, there is just no way to make a 150 grain and not have it be a little smaller. Okay, so you are smaller in size. They will have the cut diameter and stuff on there for you. Uh, again, this is one and three eighths cut diameter, which is almost, that's almost a one and a half. That's between one and a quarter and one and a half. So it's perfect size. Um, this one is going to be one and an eighth. There's just no choice um, on a, you know, to be able to get to 150 grains in this size other than to go that kind of a route. So you don't really have an option. Um, but that's going to be very, very popular with the compound guys having 150 grain. Even the traditional guys, 150 grain head um you know like that but uh, uh this is your 250 grain with the stainless steel on the one that's on the actual arrow shaft so those are the off offerings they also have uh they do sell 150 grain and 200 grain and 250 grain uh you, you know practice heads too as well if you want them but let's look at this design here for a minute so first off let's look at the head shape Perfect, right? Absolutely flawless. Exactly what all of us are looking for, what we want in a head. Okay, size-wise, you can see that it is about the size of my beloved classic Magnus head. If we lay them right on top of each other. The only difference here is really, is you can see almost, I mean, it's just a smidge shorter, but almost if you run those lines, it would almost, you know, if you got rid of the needle point on here, you're almost about the same. So, you know, it's very similar in size to that Magnus classic head. Um, on there, you are 0.62 steel on this, the blade thickness on here with a 25 degree bevel. Notice the opposing screws. One one screw going down this way, one screw going down this way. So they are working in opposites. What that does is that is going to give you a flat, as you can see on here, you got a flat part of that screw, okay, that flat edge. You are That's where all your strength comes from. Well, you have a flat on this side pulling down 
and a flat on this side pulling this way, which really tightens this up. Now the advantage to that, and one of the reasons they did that, is it reduces the chance of any of this thing wiggling, wobbling, or moving around. Now when you see this head, which I'll show you the blade, when I show you the components, you'll see that there is no way for this to move or, sh or uh, shimmy or slide or shift or anything in there whatsoever. Uh, you have incredible strength and rigidity through this ferrule, the state titanium and the stainless steel with these double screws. Screws are also stainless steel. We're talking incredible quality here. This is A2 tool steel. Okay, one of the finest steels there is for knives and broadheads. A2 tool steel, and it's about a 58 Rockwell hardness. So uh, you're going to have pretty good sharpening, great edge retention, and a very limited chance of chatter on the edge or damage happening to this head. This, this thing is built like a tank. Now, some of the key features. Let's look at the actual blade itself. This is the blade. Notice there are no slots. There are no, throughout the middle of this head, there is no extra cutouts, no messing, no machining, no anything in there that can offer slop. Uh, or because trying to machine something in here in these cutouts, you, you're going to get variance in tolerance, even if it's a thousandth of an inch, but you're going to get some kind of play and slop variation from head to head. It's just the way it works. Well, they decided to not have anything like that in here and just have the two opposing holes and then this notch right here that you see, see that notch on the back? That notch meets right into that ferrule and holds that and locks that right into position so that it cannot move, which you're seeing right here. If you look at this head, you can see that notch bites right into that. So this cannot shift any way, cannot move. It is locked here, locked here, and locked here with opposing uh, screws on there. This is a rock solid system. They put so much thought and process into making this absolutely perfect and they straight up nailed it. So. Those are your advantages. This again is what that blade looks like. This is what your ferrule looks like with the two opposing side screw holes on there. And then you have your two stainless steel screws. Very simple in design, very functional, incredible durability and strength, and a, high, and a super high quality, probably one of the best steels you could ever possibly use for a broadhead. And uh, the right amount of thickness in that blade to offer that rigidity, that strength, and that capability. And you kind of get the whole package, you know, all right there. They do it well. <laughs> they also, if you notice, they're dipping them. Okay, this dip that is on here, and what you have, go wait, wait, let me get in here. See this dip that's on here? That is an edge protection. These come hunt ready sharp and they are sharp. These heads are very sharp right out of the package. So they are good hunt ready to go. And by them wrapping them like this, this wax that they put on here, it protects that. So you don't even have to take that off. You can mount this right on your arrow and throw it right in your arrow case. Use it for when you're traveling and when you get there and you wanna put it in your quiver, peel that off. Here's what it looks like when it's off. It's nice cause you can actually, if you're careful, when you take them off, you can almost re-slide them on. Not going to be perfect, but if you get that in there like that, you can put that back on like this. And then you can put that back into your quit or in your case for when you're traveling and have that again just protecting that. Uh, a lot of us traditional guys, we know, or even probably compound guys that shoot fixed blade, but if you put broad-headed arrows in your, your, quit or your arrow case, and you go on a flight or you travel and that thing starts bouncing around and those arrows start shifting in there, they will cut the feathers off your other arrows that are facing the opposite way. You'll have arrows in here and you'll have like a feather. You'll have a broad head here from one arrow and a feather here from the other arrow. And what'll happen, it'll be in a case like this, is that if the arrows shift, they will come across and cut those feathers off of there. We've A lot of us have been there, had that happen before. Well, this is kind of a nice feature having those little uh, those little rubber seals that again can be put right back on and protect them when they're in your arrow case. That's a nice feature and a nice uh, bonus touch that they put on there and do that for you. Um, I'm excited. These things spin 100% perfect. They are all tested. They are uh, proven on every kind of level. You do have a kind of a false edge on the back. Could be sharpened if you wanted to, but that's kind of a, a false edge back here. Right there, it's got a little edge to it. So like I said, it's gonna still do some work, um, but it is not fully sharpened because that's not legal in all states, but it is that set up on there for you. So, um, but like I said, just look at the design of that. Look at the shape of this. And this is from a Michigan based company. These guys, their attitude when they set out to build this was to build the ultimate head that basically is what many of us want. 
not one and an eighth. Again, you, you have a one and an eighth here if you want it for you guys that want the narrow heads and the guys that like that little shape. Many of us, we want this, okay? This is what we want and we're tired of one and an eighth. We are so tired of one and an eighth wide heads. And uh, well, this company listened and here's what they gave us. And we now have almost a one and a half, you know, almost a one and a half inch wide head that is perfect in every way and uh, ready to work. Uh, as far as other options, maybe down the road, there might be some other options that they're gonna bring in. Like I said, step one, get these to market. They are available right now. The website is right here for you. Okay, right there for you. Oh, yeah, do they, yeah, right on here. So you got it all right here, okay. Razorbroadheads.com, so you know, really easy to find. And uh, but there's all your info on them. Their website is up and it is active, and they are ready. They have a bunch of these in stock now. One beautiful thing about this company, too, talking to the owners of this, is they vowed that they will always keep you guys informed. So if they uh, say for this first batch that they made, if you guys buy them out and sell them, you know, they run out, um, they are set up with their machinists and all their stuff where they can turn stock out pretty regularly. And uh, so there is no more of this having to wait forever for broadheads. They're wondering when they're gonna come back in stock. Um, they, they are going to plan on having these available all the time. And if they're not, they will be back in stock very quickly and their website will reflect when they will be back in stock. So you're not just waiting. Um, so like I said, they got everything sourced right here in America. The steel is American. Everything about this is 100% American. The quality is phenomenal. Um, like I said, we're talking as good as it gets. The price on these at the time right now, uh, it is $94.50 for a pack of three. Okay, so cheaper than a lot of the other ones that are out there right in that ballpark. But I mean, look at you're getting on here again. The double opposing, you know, your, your double locked you know, ferrule, double screwed ferrule. That's just incredible. The quality of the blade, the fact that you can shoot a 200 grain and a 250 grain and have them be exactly the same with the only difference being in the ferrule weight, stainless steel being 250 grains and the titanium being the 200 grain version. Um, that's a win-win. And then you also do have, but it does change the size, but you have the uh, 150 right here as well too. So they're giving you three of the best options out there right out of the gate, right out of the gate for this company. And quality, second to none. Like I said, these things are wicked sharp. They are high, high quality steel. Everything about them, componentry, everything. These are what I will be using this year. I straight up love this head. I killed a doe uh, with the prototype of this. Last year in Georgia, I was hog hunting, but I ended up coming into a doe and I ended up shooting her with the prototype of this exact head in a right bevel like this, and it was impressive. I was super excited about it, very happy. And uh, like I said, the fit and finish of these, second to none, the quality, top notch, the finish, excellent, um, everything about them. They're just, it's, we're talking about incredible head and it, they just started this company. This is right out of the gate. Well, they've been working on it for a year. Like I said, it was last year uh, in December that they, I, they gave me my first prototype of this and that I killed that first uh, animal with one. But uh, these will be in my quiver for a very long time. They are very high quality and they are, again, priced very competitively and they are very much like my beloved Magnus heads, just a smidge. They're actually probably, yeah, it's actually just a smidge wider than a Magnus, pretty close to. But like I said, all they do is kind of knock that tip off is really all you're seeing difference wise on there. And, uh, but just an incredible head. So excited for these. And like I said, such a great company. And uh, I'm excited to see where they go and what they continue to bring out. So check them out, razorbroadheads.com. I'm having the information run here for you below too, but uh, definitely check them out, see what you think. And uh, might be something that you're interested in. And thanks for watching.